Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. So I have my university record of results in front of me and I thought it'd be a good idea to go over my computer science degree, uh, which I started in 2011, so almost a decade ago, nine years, and check whether what I learned in all these modules is still useful as a software engineer nowadays in 2020. I was partly inspired by a video by Jarvis Johnson uh, called My Whole Computer Science Degree in 12 Minutes. Uh, which is a great video of him going over his computer science degree. Um, so I thought we could do something in a similar format, but with more of a focus on whether the modules are actually useful uh, today. So before we get started, a uh, quick shout out to my wife, who studied with me in computer science and luckily is a lot more organised than I am uh, and kept all the notes and lectures that we used throughout the whole university. So I've got them all here, uh, which has given me time to look over them and remind myself of what we studied. So thank you very much for that. Uh, and yeah, let's let's get started. So first year was a very slow and relaxed year for us. Um, we had no exams, so it was just, just coursework. Uh, and it was very kind of foundation level things, things that nowadays you might learn in high school. Um, I think I remember actually some students that applied from other European cities had the option to completely skip first year because they'd already been taught everything in high school. Um, so I think the entire first year could have probably been condensed into maybe half or even quarter of the time for, for the majority of people. But for, yeah, for people that were in Scotland that didn't have uh, software engineering or coding in high school, it was probably a bit useful, uh, definitely for me, but for my social aspect as well, uh, it was very good to have all the, the free time. Um, so we have all four modules here. These four modules were across both first and second semesters. Um, the first two modules here weren't particularly useful, right? So we did a lot of uh, kind of blogs and essays and journal writing. Um, you know, I think they were trying to improve our soft skills, but they just weren't very practical. So I wouldn't, you know, personally, I'd say they weren't very, um, very useful. And the second half of this was things like UML diagrams, uh, use case diagrams, class diagrams. I think that's stuff that you may use in your in your career, but the, at the level that we went over them here, it was just yeah, far too kind of basic to, to actually have any practical use. So I'm gonna say the first two modules weren't particularly useful, um, but on the caveat that, the second two modules were very useful. Um, starting with software design advanced, we actually used a tool called Alice here and hopefully I'll find some images of Alice. It was, if you know about the Scratch program now, Scratch for Kids, it was essentially a Scratch for Kids, but for adults instead. So you'd have your drag and drop blocks to build up kind of logic. And then you'd have, you know, your actual 3D world where you'd put stuff in the world that can move them around. Um, very, very fun, very basic things. Um, but was, yeah, I think that was kind of useful if you're getting started out. And then we went into actual Java, basically the building blocks of Java, objects, functions, primitives, etc. The second module here, computer information systems, we learn about HTML, CSS, the internet, the search, etc. So that was, that was pretty useful. And we also did a bit about uh, hardware, the components of, uh, of a computer, what makes it up. So yeah, all in all, yeah, that one is pretty useful. So I think first year altogether, like I said, could probably be condensed into a much smaller time period or for most people could probably be skipped. So I think second year was definitely a lot more useful in terms of engineering uh, modules. So object-oriented design, um, this was very useful. We continued on the path of Java. So we learned a bit more about uh, Java, a, a bit more about coding conventions, polymorphism, um, object class design, etc. And then we moved on to data structures and you know recursion and eventually onto algorithms and efficiency, complexity, uh, you know, the big old notation. So, um, that was quite a quite a jam-packed module across the whole year. It was very good. It prepared us for day-to-day uh, -day development, which is stuff that we use now, and also for um, interviews. So a lot of the algorithm sections is not particularly things that you use day-to-day, -day, but when it comes to interviews um, and coding questions in interviews, it was very useful for that. Professional development in computing, there's more blogs, more essays not particularly useful. Database systems, very useful. So this was the first time we've been introduced to databases. We were looking at relational databases, uh, SQL, um, the basics and how to query essentially. So very basic, but it was, yeah, it was very good. Moving on to microprocessors and microcontrollers. So we actually shared this module with um, mechanical engineers. Uh, and this one was quite fun. We used C um, and we learned a bit about C and assembly language. And we essentially had to control 
these conveyor belts that would detect different types of uh, objects and push them into separate buckets depending on the shape. So that was quite fun. In the second semester, we started dynamic web programming. This is the basics of um, web development. So we learned about JavaScript, uh, HTTP requests, um, Ajax, jQuery, the whole lot. So building kind of small applications with that. This was very useful. Business systems modeling and development. So we did a lot more diagrams here um, and kind of things like feasibility studies and requirements gathering. So if you wanted to go or if you want to go into a bit more of a management role eventually i think this stuff will come useful but at the same time a lot of it is probably outdated uh, a lot of these things were based on the kind of waterfall methodology so i guess it maybe it depends where you work uh, a lot of the software engineering companies nowadays follow more of an agile approach so maybe you can take some concepts but it's not you know fully applicable um, and the final one here was introduction to data networks so we learned a bit about uh, routers, um, how to trace packets along uh, a network, IP addresses, subnetting. Um, we use a tool called Packet Tracer to build our own kind of virtual networks uh, and assign IP addresses and all that. So yeah, this was this was definitely very good if you are a software engineer. So third year was an optional placement year. So you got to basically work for a year instead of go to university and then you can come back and finish the rest of your degree the, the following two years. This year was definitely the most useful year in the degree hands down if you ever have the opportunity to do a placement whether it's for a year or just for the summer i'd thoroughly recommend it so our university had a few relationships with some of the local companies and the typical process of applying would be through the university website so you'd apply through the website um, and you'd probably have a chat or an interview with the representative from the company and within a few days you might find out whether you got the position or, or not so they usually held one maybe two positions for, for the university. So when I was applying, I didn't fully understand this process. So even though I started off at the university portal, I somehow managed to follow it through to the company website where I applied just like any normal person would apply. Uh, and what this meant is I had to go down to London to go through a full day assessment center. I had to present a presentation, do a pitch, um, do all the various kind of interviews that you usually do, uh, fly back, um, and then found out that one of my colleagues had gotten the job with, you know, within a few days just by having a chat. Um, luckily enough, after two weeks, I found out that I'd also gotten a job because there were a few positions for other companies. So that was, uh, that was quite fun. Anyways, placement year was a great experience. So my placement year was less technical. It was more project management within a technical environment. And I don't think there's anything like learning on the job. I think there's certain things that universities just can't teach you, which is probably why they put in this placement year. Um, simple stuff like soft skills, you know, setting up meetings, talking to people, talking to different levels of management, you know, being accountable for deliverables or, you know, your presentation skills, etc. Um, all that stuff learned in the placement year was very, very useful for actually going in um, to, to my first job after I graduated. So uh, that was very good. And also, I think it gives you an opportunity to find out if you're getting into the right field. So my placement year was a bit more on management. And that's what I thought I wanted to get into. But after that year, I realized actually... I definitely want to stick to the technical stuff. So yeah, placement year was absolutely brilliant. You know, finally getting paid, proper salary, not having to work weekends. Um, so it was great. Fourth year was back at university, back to study. Um, it was very weird going back to study after doing a year off uh, working, but it was nice to have that, that freedom. And funnily enough, personally, it was a lot easier to get back into studying, a lot easier to, to balance the different coursework and exams after having all that practice in, in the actual placement year. So, um, yeah, I think the, the placement year was very, very useful for coming back into university. Fourth year is probably the most useful year in university in terms of what I use day to day. So I think every one of these modules other than uh, artificial intelligence for problem solving, uh, I use in my day to day work. So, yeah, let's go over what we learned in all of these. So starting off with web development. Um, this was the first time we were actually taking the knowledge of code and databases, etc., and putting them all together. So in this one, we were just building very simple web applications using PHP and MySQL. Um, we learned a bit about the MVC uh, architecture, learned a bit about database normalization. So this was a bit of everything, but the first time we we're actually doing real life web, web development, essentially. Project management and computing environment. So this was a very easy module for me, again, because of my placement year. If you're a software engineer and you want to get into kind of a tech lead position or if you want to move out into more of a senior or management role, um, yeah, this is very good for you. So if, if you're not into that, this is probably not very useful, but it's good to understand uh, the, the different concepts here, how to how to plan 
um, how to write specifications, all that kind of magic stuff. So yeah, this was also quite quite useful. So concurrent programming is essentially around multi-threaded applications. Again, we were using Java, so learning about you know threads, locks, um, synchronization, all the different techniques to, to handle handle those scenarios. Again, things that are probably you know a lot of frameworks and languages handle it for you but very very good to understand um very good to understand if you're an engineer artificial intelligence for problem solving was a very cool module so we learned again about ai um, about different types of search uh, about different heuristics and a bit more about algorithms so part of it was you know useful um just to get the right mindset and again for interviews etc or if you're going into a data science role uh, or looking into ai things probably is for me day to day probably not too useful but yeah, it was, it was cool nonetheless. Database systems is exactly as it sounds, looking a bit more into databases. We did a bit more PLSQL. Uh, we learned a bit more about the architecture of databases themselves, you know, distributed database management, um, transaction management, concurrency within databases, um, a lot more detailed kind of uh, things within databases. So this was very useful as well. Programming mobile devices, we did Android development. Again, more Java, uh, more SQL. So you know useful for everyone i don't actually do mobile development day to day but learning the java side of it was you know very useful for the work i'm doing now so the final two operating systems and network basics are useful if you're doing anything related to devops uh, in your company whether it's dealing with vms you know um ip addresses subnetting vpns etc um, all very useful things yeah so fifth and final year, and this was mainly around the honors project. Uh, we had to do a project and write a report about it. And then you had um, three modules each semester. My project was uh, built in Unity 3D and I hooked it up with uh, Windows Connect to do some body motion sensing game stuff. I'll try uh, put up some videos of that somewhere. Um, so yeah, this was quite useful learning to integrate with you know hardware, um, different third party services, which we'd not really been taught at university. Um, it was good fun. The report was not good fun. Um, it probably was useful, but I'm gonna be biased against it and say that I did not enjoy that. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the actual, uh, actual modules here. So intelligent web technologies here. Um, this wasn't the most useful module. Uh, essentially, we kind of sat around Googling things and comparing search results. Uh, we did learn a bit about how um, indexing and you know web crawlers work, um, but it wasn't yeah it wasn't the most useful module that we've had. Game development on the iPhone was actually just building games for the web uh, using Unity 3D. Um, again, this one was really fun. If you get into games development, this is probably useful. Uh, I didn't, so not something I use day to day but you know, something I did in my honors project at the same time, so it was quite handy. Advanced data networks is all around essentially Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi standards, um, the internet and routing, how traffic goes across the internet. So it's probably useful things to know and definitely more useful if you get into the infrastructure side uh, of engineering. I'm mainly in the web development, so you know, it's good knowledge to have, but it's not stuff that I use in a day-to-day -day basis. So programming C Sharp was around building desktop applications. Uh, we were using WPF and SQL Server for this. Uh, and this is very useful, especially if you're working with UWP, Universal Windows Platform, I think that stands for, uh, which is essentially yeah, Windows applications, which I did a few years ago. So this definitely came in very, very handy. Um, even though WPF is a bit outdated, the kind of the similar concepts still exist. Moving on to network security. Now, this was a very practical course and every engineer should know the basics of network security. So we learn a bit about social engineering and network sniffing using Wireshark, a bit about cryptography. Um, any software engineer that um, wants to you know, improve in their field needs to understand the basics of this. So this was yeah, very good. And the final module is cloud computing. And I think cloud computing is probably, for me as a web developer, um, the most useful module we took in all yeah in all the four years. So this was all around um, learning a bit about REST, um, building web services, building clients to talk to those web services um, and storing them in some sort of data layer. We learned a bit about uh, OAuth. Um, we did a bit of AWS, learning how to spin up VMs and you know uh, popular applications on that load balancing, SSL and TLS. This is essentially what you need to know nowadays to be a web developer. So this was, yeah, this one was very useful. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it's been useful to you. Um, I think I've been very surprised by just how much uh, of my computer science degree, almost 10 years ago, I still apply day to day now as a software engineer. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.